Well, hey, crafty friends. It's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the most adorable banners for fall. And they start with this, which is a, um, it's a canvas banner set from Walmart. So, um, get ready. <laughs> It's super cute and really fun and super easy. Um, and I have been playing, I have three different styles basically. We're gonna finish them all up and I'm gonna show you how everything works. Hi everyone, as you're hopping on, say hi. Um, I would love to know where you're watching from. What are you doing today? Is anyone crafting? Is anyone new here? So tell me in the comments. Okay. So in addition to this style banner, I just wanted to show you two others um, in case you can't find this. This is from Walmart, it's in the crafting section. It's kind of by the t-shirts that you can embroider and stuff in the craft section. This is also from Walmart and it's like a chalkboard, kind of thicker paper banner. It was $2, it's in the party section with like wrapping paper. And then this, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. I just love to make banners. They're, um, they're so easy. They're so fun. They're a great way to just switch the look of a room up. Um, they're never expensive. They're fun to change throughout the year. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the simplest one. Oops, I forgot to plug in my glue gun. Let me do that right now. Where is it? Okay. So, what I did... Oh, and we're going to be using craft paint to basically paint the banners. So this is just Apple Barrel Matte Acrylic Paint from Walmart in black. Same deal. This is called... Harvest Orange. I think they were $50 a, 50 cents a bottle. And here's the yellow. And then we're going to be using black ink to do our stenciling. And yeah. Okay, so this one I started making before I came live because I thought it would be really fun to do the last piece of it and then uh, finish it up. So this is a black and white kind of a banner. We're gonna do one more um, piece that has the stripes on it. Isn't it cute? And then we'll add some fabric. Okay, and I wanna show you a trick because if you take these banners apart, they're sewn so tight over the cord that they're on that it's almost impossible if you take it off for any reason to get that cord, this back through the holes of one of these guys. So, what I have found is that you, if you almost make something that's like a big sewing needle out of a paintbrush that's thin, and I'm just going to tape it with just scotch tape. Tape my, see? <laughs> then, it's pretty easy to feed it through your banner piece and you just pull it out the other side like that and there you go easy okay so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to do these stripes and um, they are pretty easy I am working off of one of those cake boards today and um, you can see that I've already painted some of the pieces. I've been having fun playing this morning. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna work on. And I'm just using painter's tape. Mine happens to be frog tape because I don't have any of the blue painter's tape right now. Um, but any, either, even masking tape would work. So I'm just gonna tape two stripes onto my, and ta I'm taping it onto the board that I'm painting it on. 
a cake board. What are you guys saying? Who's crafting? Is the back side suitable for display? Well, it could be if you wanted to decorate it. Yeah, totally. I didn't do that, but you totally could. Okay, and here's our second stripe. See, I'll show you what the back side looks like. Um, the black paint is a little dark. So, I don't know if you did the black and white paint again, but just on the other side and then did something different, that would probably work. Okay, so we're just gonna use some of this apple barrel paint, and I'm painting off of the paper plate because we're not fancy here. And I'm going to use a, just one of these little foam brushes to start. Well, to do this whole part, yeah. So um, I do wanna be careful that I don't paint on the cord that goes through it as much as possible. If I do a little bit, I'm not gonna freak out because this is crafting and it's supposed to be fun. And I've been having a good time this morning figuring out what I wanted to do. Um, Cause you know, I, I almost never get on and do a craft live for the first time. Usually I've done it two or three times. I have samples to show, I'm midway done. And um, so I was having fun this morning, just playing and seeing what I like, what I think you guys would like. Okay, so when you get up to this part where the little cord goes through, you're just gonna be relatively careful that you don't paint on it. Okay, and I'm going to let, let's see, is, are there any big areas that I've missed? I don't think so. I'm going to let that kind of dry a little bit, tape to the board before I pull the tape off. Um, but let's move down. Let's scooch this over. I have too many things on my craft desk today. Okay, we'll move down to here. So these are all dry. There's nothing you need to do to treat these because you're not gonna wash a banner, all right? And with the next project, I'm gonna show you how I made the polka dots. It's super easy. With one of these little pounce brushes from Walmart, I'll show you what the package looks like and everything. Okay, so before I came live, I got out some of my fall wood little cutouts from Dollar Tree from last year. And I painted them orange with this basic orange paint. Then I took a large set of stencils up from this. This is called Skinny Font. This is what I was suggesting yesterday, if you were watching live then, uh, to use if, um, if you want to spell some words on placemats, you can do banners, I mean, you can do coffee mugs, you can do all kinds of fun things. So this set right here comes with two sizes. This is the bigger size. And then I know these look funny because I've been cutting things out of them and using them today and loving them. And this is the smaller one. Let me see if I can hold them so they're not popping around and you can see. You can see kind of the difference in size there. But you get both sheets. And when I'm all finished, I'll get you a link. So if you want to look at these, say link in the comments. Okay, so um, before I came live, I found the small version. I pulled the letters out. Where did they go? Here they are. Nope, those are the big, here are the little ones. And I just spelled the word fall using the smaller stencils on top of my wood shapes that were painted and dry. And before I painted them, I put a quick coat of that clear matte sealer on it, just so that my stencil wouldn't bleed. And I do want to say one thing that's important. Um, this is chalk paste. Uh, don't use 
do not, I mean, it's up to you what you do, but I seriously do not recommend that you use any kind of this, this type of paint on your stencils unless you only want to use them once because these dry super fast and they can clog up the, the mesh on your stencils, which means the next time you use it, whatever you're using is not going to go through. Um, they seriously shorten the life of your stencils and it's just not good to use it. So I used a little, did I put it away already? Yes, I guess I did. So I just used some chalk paste. Paste and paint are completely different things. I get this question all the time. So let me just tell you and then we'll go on with our banner. Okay, chalk paste is made from chalk just like what your teacher used on the blackboard when you were in elementary school. Uh, but hers was in a hard form and it was in a stick and most of the time it was just white. Okay, this chalk paste is that same thing. It's not permanent, it's paste. It has some moisture in it so it's uh, creamy and it has the color in it, but it's not permanent. This paint is called acrylic paint and it's paint. Chalk paint, acrylic paint, craft paint, all those things are paint. This is a paste. So don't use, um, I really don't recommend that you use paint, any kind of paint on your stencils. Use uh, either a chalk paste that will have a black lid or an ink which will have a white lid. These are okay for your stencils, they're good for them. The other stuff is not. Okay, so before I came live, I just um, stenciled the word fall using some black chalk paste on these little letters and I had pumpkins and leaves. And we're just gonna glue them to our banner. Um, I might later down the road add one more, um, one more piece on the other side so it's even. But we're gonna start clear down here with the end piece. And we're just basically going to hot glue this on and it's going to be super cute. And it was so easy. I, sometimes I like to have things that are kind of dimensional and this really is. Okay, so F, I need my A leaf. And that one's going on the polka dots. And then an L on a pumpkin. We're spelling fall. And like I said, I may come back and do another polka dot on the other side of this banner so that I have two plain ones on either side that don't have anything glued on them. Okay, and then we'll do the last L. Oh my gosh, I have the absolute cutest touch to show you. And I'm going to show you that at the very end. And um, it's what really makes the banners that we're going to do behind me. So if you possibly can, stay with me to the very end. It's adorable. It's just about as cute as, remember the eyelashes that we put on the um, little stuffed owls? It's just about as cute as that or maybe more. Okay, so this is what this part of the banner looks like. F-A-L-L. -L. Let me, now I'm gonna pull the tape off. And you can see how crisp those lines are um, where I just painted. And then I bought some fabric 
this big polka dot from Walmart in their fabric section. It's Waverly brand, it's one yard. And it was, I think it was like 396 or something. It's the perfect amount. And what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna tear it and we're gonna add some like bunting. Some of it I'll have to wait till it's completely dry, but I'll get pictures of everything at the very end. Okay, so then you pull your extra strings off. Throw those away. Get off. And I'm gonna cut the, that end is good. Seems like the other end. Oh, I'm gonna cut this off of the other end. So I'm filming today on my new iPad, I mean, on my new iPhone 12 Pro. And I wanna know what you guys think. Um, does the picture look a little clearer? And I'm wondering if the sound is better. I'm still experimenting with where I put my camera and how I film, uh, but I would really, I hope that this is making a difference and making the videos better. Okay, so I just cut that and I cut that in half and I'll be, I can go ahead and tie it on right here. I just don't want to get it in any wet paint. And then I want to hold this up and show you. And I may come back and add a bunch of these to this banner when it's all dry. I've got one tied on here on the other side already. Ooh, it's a little bit shorter. I'm gonna definitely have to cut this one a little bit uh, sh shorter. I'll cut the one on the other side a little bit shorter. This is kind of what it'll look like when it's hanging up. So what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of putting the word fall in that skinny font in the smaller size on those wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. And do you like the black and white stripes and polka dots? I do, I think it's, it's, um, to me, it's fun. Oops, let me get it on here. But it's, um, it's not crazy colors. So I like it. So you can kind of see what it will look like right here. And I will get pictures when I'm all done. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the, um, I'm calling it a candy corn and polka dot banner. And I made it with the same cloth banner that I showed you at the start of the video from Walmart. And my plan for this one is to spell the word autumn and have one little flag at the end of this with, um, with polka dots. So I wanna show you, first of all, how you paint them. Let's do the polka dots first, cause that's super easy. All right, let's put a little bit more of this on here. So for this stencil, I'm gonna do a polka dot on either end and then all the pieces in the center are gonna be candy corn. And um, I know I've, oh gosh, I have paint on me. I know I've told you guys that um, my kids are, you know, grown. So they're not really into the whole Halloween thing anymore. And I never really was that into it, but I do have one very serious weakness with Halloween and that is candy corn. So if we have it in the house, I will eat the entire bag. Um, and I don't know how this popped into my mind that these little triangles on this banner kind of look like the shape of candy corn, but it did, and um, so I went with it. Okay, 
So, but I didn't just want to do candy corn. I wanted to have a variety. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we're on the front because you can see where the seam is on the back. And I'm just taking, this is what the little packet looks like. It has various sizes of pouncers. It has these little ones, big ones, and then the medium is the purple. And I'm using the medium. And I just poured some black paint on my little paper plate painting thing. And I'm gonna start at the bottom and it really, there's no specific way that you need to do this. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, is what I'm trying to say. I need a little bit more paint. Oh dang, and I got it on myself again. I need to clean up my bottles. So I want to know who loves candy corn. Tell me in the comments if you love candy corn. I do. I know it's terrible for you. And it's bad for your teeth. It's bad for everything. But it's a once a year kind of candy. And I grew up loving candy corn. And uh, so, yeah. I try to hold out as long as possible during the Halloween time when it's in the stores, which anymore, they start selling it in like August. <laughs> um, but I try to hold out until it's almost, um, you know, almost Halloween to buy any. Sometimes my husband will buy it and I get so mad because then I can't leave it alone. Okay, some of my polka dots are slightly falling off the edge. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's just plain craft paint and a round pounce brush. Let's see, I'm gonna wipe this up so I don't get it on. All right, so then the next ones all the way across are gonna be candy corn and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's easy. So we're just using this inexpensive craft paint, yellow from Walmart. It's acrylic apple barrel. And I wanted kind of a bright yellow because candy corn is a bright yellow. And we're gonna start with the top of candy corn. So normally the top of candy corn is yellow, then orange, then white. I believe, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a sponge brush. And let's push this out of the way. And we're gonna establish our line, first of all, and it's gonna have a little bit of a bend to it. So it's kind of like a very mild rainbow shape. Okay, and then we're gonna paint the whole rest of it. This down. And we're gonna try not to paint the cord that it's strung on, if possible. This idea, well, the idea of polka dots and stripes for a banner and then adding on some wood pieces like this, that could be done for the whole entire year. Seriously, because you can get wood shapes at Dollar Tree all year long. Um, first will be, you know, for fall, you'll first see um, pumpkins and, um, leaves and then pretty soon you'll start seeing turkeys and then pretty soon it'll be christmas trees little trucks with trees in them presents ornaments 
uh, Dollar Tree has a great variety of wood pieces. That's one thing that I do always buy there because they're just so affordable and they're pretty darn nice quality. I'm going to get the very, very tip top of my um, yellow as much as possible. Okay, so we're going to paint two of these and then I have two that are already done and I'm going to show you the next step and then we're going to finish what the banner that's behind me and I'm going to show that's where I'm going to show you that super cute extra thing at the end. So stay with me. Okay, so you're going to just do your yellow. And then we need our orange. And I need another sponge brush. Okay, I wonder if this orange that's on here is still soft. I don't know. When you use these kind of supplies, I, I got four sponge brushes at Walmart for 88 cents or something. Then if you don't want, you can throw them away when you're done. Or you can clean them and use them again. I'm kind of frugal, so I do that. I use mine over and over, but you don't have to. Uh, if, if you don't want to, you could just toss them. Okay, so what I have found is that when you get, where's my paintbrush? When you get close to the yellow, it's easier to just use an artist brush than my little sponge. And I'm gonna go over the top of the yellow just a little bit. Oops, I have to go up a little bit higher because I made a mistake there. And then I'm gonna clean up this line right here just a little bit. Okay, let's do the other, um, the other one right here. And then I'll scooch everything down and I'll show you what we're doing next. Ooh, just put my finger in that yellow. Okay, so I'm just establishing the bottom part right there. And we'll use the um, artist brush to finish this up. Okay, now I want it. Oh my gosh, the next two steps are so cute. And you can continue embellishing from here. They had a lot of cute fabric at Walmart. Uh, and I know you can get cute fabric everywhere. Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, you know, any kind of sewing store. But um, you can tear strips and just put like a bunting in between each piece of your banner if you would like. And that just gives it a whole nother layer. Okay. So that is how we get to this step. We don't paint the bottom because the bottom of candy corn is white and this banner is pretty close to white. It's a little creamy, but it's pretty close to a white color. Let's paint off my fingers. All right, so let me show you what we just did here. Okay, so what we just did was this. We did a polka dot on the outside, and then we did two candy corns. And I will off camera do two more candy corns here. But, lay these down so they don't get paint all over everything. But before I came live, 
I did um, I did work on these ones down here and I want to show you how you can stencil on them. Okay, so we're going to spell the word autumn. I need to think of it. This is going to be an A. A-U-T-U-M-N. -M. Oops. <laughs> and um, they're all going to be candy corns with polka dots on either end. So I need an A. I have one right here. It's part of the bigger uh, set. These are so versatile. I don't know why I hadn't gotten them out yet because I've had them for a little while, but um, I, I know how much I love them now, so you'll be seeing them a lot. Okay, and you don't need to fuzz before you go on this banner. I don't think that's necessary. Okay, so we're, like I said before, we're gonna use a little bit of chalk paste. Wait, this one's not open. Where's the one I had? No, we're using ink, actually. What am I thinking? Because this is fabric. Um, and you could heat set it if you want, but I really don't think that's even necessary. So the inks from Magnolia, and I'll get you guys links at the end, um, and I'll put them throughout the comments. And if you want one, if you want a link to the stencil or anything, I have something super cute to show you, just say link. So the inks are for fabrics and ceramics, and um, they have a white lid. That's how you can recognize them. And I'm just gonna use a little squeegee, and we're going to push some ink through this letter A. Pull off any big globs. Wait, I am messy today. I've got this all over my fingers again. So that's what that looks like. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And I'm just throwing it upside down, face down actually, in a little tub of water here out off the screen. So let's do the next letter. It's going to be a U, which is right here. I'm using my stencil cutting scissors that are also from Magnolia. And probably what I'll do when I'm all done cutting this up is I will put all the smaller letters in a little Ziploc bag and I'll label skinny font small, skinny font large. Okay, so I do need to label the back of this because I haven't used it before. So I know which side to put this back on. And since I haven't used it at all, I'll just do one little fuzz on my top. little bit of ink, just making sure it's down. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up any big globs that are on there. And oh, my hands are a mess. This is not a hard craft at all. The hardest thing is waiting in between having things dry. So look how cute that is. I think this banner, once I have it all the way complete, is gonna be the cutest one. So I'll finish this off, off camera, but this is what the A and the U look like. And I'll do, spell the word autumn. And it'll have polka dots on the ends of both sides. I hope I did it in the right, Order, I think I did. Who knows? Okay, I'll lay this down so that I don't bump it and wreck it. Okay, and let's move on to the next step. So you're gonna paint 
you know, whatever it is that you want on your banner, just using craft paint. And then you're gonna stencil the letter using ink, Magnolia ink. It looks like this. And I'm, I'm doing mine in black, but you could do whatever color you want. And you do the polka dots just with a little pounce brush. So that's easy. Then, where's the lid to my yellow paint? So I can get this out of my way. Then, 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 we're gonna finish off this one at the bottom with some little dashes and dots. And it's just gonna add, it adds so much. I did a couple um, little bits of it before I came live. I'll show you what those look like and we're gonna finish this one. So, this one says fall. And in between each letter is a polka dot one. On the other banner, in between each one, there is nothing. The polka dots are on the very outside. Okay, so I've got an F and an A and an L and an L. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, these, they're awesome. And I've used them a lot lately. These are Magnolia um, paint pins and chalk pins. We're using the paint. We used it just recently on those little owls, but they're boxed up and gone. I also used the, the ink on this project. It was the white to do all the lines around it. So there's a gold, a silver, a black and a white in each kind. The ones with the black bottom are the ink. The ones with the white bottom are the chalk paste. So, um, and you could use this to color in if there's anywhere that you feel like your polka dot wasn't good. Okay, I need something to put underneath here. Let me just wipe this off first. I don't know that this ink is going to go through the um, little banner, but I don't want to take a chance because I love my craft table. So we're going to finish this off and do the two L's. Do the little dash, dot, dot, and I'm going to do the top of the F and the A. Okay, and I need a paper towel, paper plate. These ink markers come with both a round tip and a chiseled one. Right now I have the round tip up, and you prime them just by shaking it and pushing it in just a little bit. Something stuck on the end of mine. Piece of fuzz. see. So I'm going to start kind of at the top with a line, dot, dot, line, dot, dot. You could do squiggles. You could just outline the whole entire thing if you want. Line, dot, dot, and when you get to the part where it's just the canvas, it doesn't accept the ink as well. It really is better on the painted part, so you can just go over it a couple times. Okay, let's start up here. Do a line. I'll pick this up and show you close up in just a second. Line, dot, dot. I'm not even being careful to make sure that both sides are the same. I don't think you need to worry about that. Okay, we're going to do this, and then we're going to come back to the other two and do the top. So line... Dot. What do you guys think? Who likes banners? 
I know I asked earlier if you're just hopping on. I also want to know who likes candy corn. I do. It's dangerous for me. And it, you don't feel good after you eat a bunch of it. I think it just gets your blood sugar all whacked out and then you don't feel good. Okay, so here are the two that we just did. Now let's come back to the very beginning. And I'm gonna do the line dot dot across the top of these. Because when I was experimenting with this one right here, I decided that I liked it better with that on the top. And I'm not really planning to put any ribbon or anything on this because I think with this embellishment, it's got plenty going on. But you certainly could. You could use this black and white polka dot fabric if you wanted. Maybe we'll look at that. And whenever it starts to seem like your brush is getting kind of dry, you can just shake it a little bit and prime, prime it, I think is what that's called. So you could do this banner and do the stripes in the black and white or the polka dots. You can arrange all the pieces however you like them like maybe all the candy corn with the letters on it in the center. That is totally up to you. Now we're gonna finish these ones that we were working on earlier. I'm gonna be careful not to smudge them. hold it up and show you. So cute. And then I have a little surprise, so stay with me. Alrighty. Look how adorable that is. Which way do I need to go? I will get close-ups of everything um, for you, but I think it turned out super duper cute. I don't know which one I like better. If I like the um, black and white one, or if I like this one. What do you guys think? I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way so that you can look at them without the other things being cluttering up your mind there. I think for sure that I'm going to put another piece right here of the stripe so that it makes sense that it starts or polka dot actually so there's a blank one and then the F-A-L-L -L in the wood pieces but the one I like the best is this one is our polka dot um, candy corn Let's see what you guys are saying. Both look good. Thank you. And I have one more over here that I will finish up off camera. But um, just for fun, as a surprise, um, I am going to spin the comments. And whoever I land on, I'm going to be mailing you some of these wood cutouts that I got last year. And I've saved them. These are the pumpkins. 
here are the turkeys. I don't have the leaves or I would send those. And then here's some orange Waverly. It's a, a fat quarter. That's great for any kind of fall project. So just for no reason, just as a surprise for fun, let me go ahead and spin. If I can do that on my new iPhone, hope so. Um, and I'll pick a name. Oops, I gotta go the other way. So this is why it's good that you're commenting. Okay, and I'm picking this name right here. Whoops. Oh no, what have I done? Charlotte Tutty. Charlotte, I picked your name. Just spinning the comments. So, let me write that down. Um, I need your address. And if she doesn't see this, and you're a friend of hers, please tell her to send me a personal message with your mailing address and I'll pop this stuff in the mail. And I might, I might put a few other little bits and pieces in. But I think I'm gonna start doing stuff like that more where I just spin the comments and, you know, I'm still learning. And pick a name randomly and mail out a little something every, not every time, but every now and again. So it's good to comment because if I'm spinning that day, then I might land on your, your name. So Charlotte Teddy, please let me know what your address is. Send me a personal message. All right, well, I'm gonna hop off now. Um, I hope you liked our banner projects. I think they turned out pretty adorable. I'm pretty happy with them. Let me see if I can move my camera so you, I think you can see the whole thing. I will get close-up pictures too. So, um, yeah, feel free to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you wanna know where to get these awesome letters, they so remind me of that Ray Dunn font. Um, there's the larger ones that are a little thicker, and then there's the smaller ones. That I'll show you the difference in these cut out that are a little bit thinner, but they're two great sizes. If, you want, if you're interested in that, or if you're interested in this, or the um, black ink, uh, just let me know. Say link in the comments and I'll get, I'll get that to you. All right, oh Charlotte, did you hear that I picked your name? I hope you did. Please send me a personal message. I think she's on now. Um, anyways, and I'm gonna come back and be live in just a few minutes because I have something else to tell you. All right, uh, thanks for watching. I want to see pictures. If you decide to make one of these candy corn or black and white uh, banners, you can post those here in these comments or over at Dreamy DIY. Have a wonderful rest of your day if I don't see you again in a few minutes. Uh, but if you're watching live, um, plan for me to come back in maybe 10 minutes and share something else. Alrighty, thank you guys. Thank you for all the hearts and the stars. Oh my word. Thank you, you guys are so generous. For my YouTube friends, um, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want the links, I will put them in the description box, which is gonna be right up here.
when Christmas rolls around, we're going to be doing a lot of glitter. <laughs> glitter and vintage paper. And so I'm thinking that the gold and silver in the chalk and the gold and silver in the ink, whoops, this way, are going to get a lot of use then. Okie dokie, have a wonderful rest of your afternoon and hopefully if you're watching live, I'll see you again in a few.